Good morning. How are you? Today is Friday and we will have a beautiful and happy weekend. Before we begin our class, I want to thank you. To say thanks to all of you because today is Teacher's Day and because you are the reason of my happiness. You make me super happy being your teacher. I am really, really happy. I am really, really glad to have you as my student. So that's my biggest, biggest gift in a teacher's day. Okay, let's begin with our work. Today, we are going to only review the auxiliars do, does, did, don't, doesn't, and didn't. Okay, because uh, your uh, work have many things that were not um, maybe clear. We are going to do some mind maps that can help us to understand this, okay? Let's begin with our daily routine. Today is Friday, Friday 15th. Yesterday was Thursday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. In which month? May, the month, the May, the, sorry, the month of mothers and maybe teachers, the year 2020, and season of spring with a lot of flowers, the weather sunny and warm or hot. How do you feel today? Today I feel so happy. I am so glad to have you. I am really, really uh, excited to know that you are my students in a teacher's day. Okay, let's begin with our mental math, okay? So take out your books, open them on page 168, and we will do our operation. I will turn on my watch, turn my clock to stop the, the time, and I we will begin, okay? We are going to do additions and subtractions, but with more numbers, okay? With more uh, summons or um, numbers in the operation. So let's begin. Number one, pay attention. Remember that I will repeat only twice. Three plus 12 plus nine plus 11. I will repeat three plus 12 plus nine plus 11. Time is clocking. Okay, Cl write your answer. Number two, 25 plus nine plus seven plus two. I will repeat, 25 plus nine plus seven plus two. Okay, write your answer. Number three, 36 plus eight plus 10 plus one. 36 plus eight plus 10 plus one. Okay, write your answer. Number four. 44 plus 12 plus 9 minus 10. I will repeat. 44 plus 12 plus 9 minus 10. Write your answer. 
And finally, number five. 51 plus nine plus 25 minus 10. 51 plus nine plus 25 minus 10. Okay, write your answer, please. And we have finished with our mental math. Okay, let's continue. Here I, I put you some actions that you do. Do as a verb, not, not as an auxiliary. That is something important that you need to understand. When, you, when we use the verb do as a verb, we use it with those uh, with these examples i do exercise i do housework for example i help my mother to broom to sweep the the group of that actions is housework so you do housework you do badly when you have a bad grade in school for example or when you do something that was not correct in your house you do one's best that means that you do your best to do something or you do just something for example um i am here in my in my house doing something what something i can maybe read a book watch a movie but when i express that i am doing uh, anything you can do you can say sorry i do something other examples here on the second column I do somebody a favor, I do something wrong, I do my homework, I do something right, that's the opposite of something wrong, I do the dishes, when you wash the dishes, you say, I will do the dishes, that means that you are going to wash them, I will do damage, that sometimes it's broken or something like that, I do laundry, laundry is this picture, to wash your clothes, I do harm, when somebody is hurt, and they say, ouch, and you do good, okay? That's when we use the verb do in simple present in affirmative sentence. Obviously, we can change it to simple past. Uh, just change it the do for did, okay? Now, I will show you a mind map. When do we use do? We use do to affirmative sentence in present. What pronouns? The pronouns are here are the ones that we use with do, I, we, you, they, or for plural nouns. How can we know if a sentence is in present? Because of the verbs or because we have these kind of words. For example, today, now, every day, usually, often, etc. Those are adverbs of frequency. Remember that we already see them. Okay, so that's when we use do. I will show you a sentence. I do the homework. I can say I do the homework, we do the homework, you do the homework, they do the homework, or even my parents do the homework, my friends do the homework. Remember that you need a plural noun. The boys at school do the homework, okay? That's an example. But you always only change the subject that has to be one of these pronouns or a plural noun, okay? Next page, does, again, for affirmative sentences, either for present with the same words, today, now, every day, usually, often, but in this case, the pronouns change. Remember, this is the third person of singular, he, she, it, or singular nouns, the same sentence. He does the homework, she does the homework, it does the homework. Obviously, an animal cannot do a homework, but we can use it. Or singular noun, my mom does the homework, my father does the homework, my friend does the homework. Yes, with a singular noun, we can use does. And did is the same one, is the same, sorry, affirmative sentence, 
but in this case the auxiliary or the verb actually here it's working as a verb it's in past and we don't have to use it in a specific pronoun all the pronouns are here and all the nouns singular or plural nouns here it's really important to check what words are in past that can help me in a sentence if it's the sentence is past maybe with another verb in past or with the words yesterday last week last month last year last season anything with last three days ago one week ago means that already happened and in a specific year in 1968 okay those words are some words that can help me but these are the most important or if a sentence sorry if a verb in my sentence it's in past and the same a sentence can be i did the homework we did the homework my parents did the homework the doctor did the homework any noun any pronoun can fit here only change instead of do or does with did okay now the same one do does and did but in negative the only change is that here is in negative yes the same sentence but in negative again we can have some words that can help me to know that it's present the same pronouns for do i will you they the same nouns plural nouns and here is here are another sentence because when we use negative we use another action don't doesn't work as a verb anymore you mm -hmm. can do it yes i can say i don't do my homework and um, we don't do the laundry you can do it but you have to repeat the verb do after the don't okay and i have some other examples here i here says mm? that can be i i don't eat a sandwich they don't eat a sandwich my parents don't eat a sandwich or you don't drive a car the girls don't drive a car in this case any plural noun or another sentence we don't drink milk the um, plants don't drink milk some animals don't drink milk always your noun in plural okay the same in with does doesn't sorry negative sentence again and the same words that help me to know that maybe the sentence is in present and the same example the only thing that change is the doesn't he doesn't eat a sandwich she doesn't eat a sandwich my mother doesn't eat a sandwich or uh, my father doesn't drive a car it doesn't drive a car a dog doesn't drive a car or uh, she doesn't drink milk it doesn't drink milk the my parrot doesn't drink milk the noun in singular okay and the same one but in past is exactly the same but instead of write do or don't we use didn't and here again we can use any pronoun or any noun okay and we can use the words in we can check the words here that we have that main um, refer, refer to past to know that our sentence is in past i didn't eat a sandwich yesterday she didn't eat a sandwich last week my mother didn't drive a car three days ago you didn't drink milk um, in 19 in 2001 okay so that's the explanation for did, do, does, 
did and didn't okay now what you are going to do is your own mind map you can uh, use my example or create your own mind map that will help you if you have an exercise that can help you to know which one to use okay you can use you can copy this or maybe in the same one put do and don't and here is for affirmative and this one is for negative okay you don't have to send me anything today it's for next monday you will show it to me on monday class okay so again thank you very much thank you for making me super happy being your teacher have a nice weekend bye bye